Hey, what's up guys, Mirai here, and today I'm going to be covering how to view other windows or programs which are separate from your game clients right inside of your window layout. Now, this is a video effects related video, so we will be dealing with the usual viewers and sources and all of the properties that go along with them. If you're unfamiliar with how these work, then you might need to watch the videos that cover the basics. Check the description for a link. All right, so let's pretend that I only have a single monitor attached to my system, but I want to watch a video while I am leveling or questing or grinding or whatever. I've got my media player here already loaded up with a video ready to go, but my game takes up my entire monitor, which kind of makes my video a little difficult to watch. So what can we do about that? Well, I can break open the eyes box or control panel, jump on over to the video effects tab and start off by selecting other window source from the top drop down menu. I'm creating a source like any other source, so it will need a name to work. And in the second drop down below, you'll see a long list of all the processes that are currently running on your computer. I'm going to select my media player, which is Media Player Classic. And when I hit add, a message will pop up saying that the source was added. Now, like I said before, this is a source like any other video effects source, but for an external program. And what can you do with a source? Well, you can create a viewer for it. So let's do just that. When I choose to create a viewer, the name stays populated, but if for some reason it doesn't or you need to re-add it at a later time, then you can either just type it in or it'll be in the source drop-down list like normal. So I'll hit add and there it is. Now, let me adjust this a bit so that it looks fairly normal. I could have done this prior to adding the viewer, but it is what it is. Now I'm also going to enable repeater pass through because I want to be able to control the media player through the viewer while I'm playing the game. All right, so now I can unpause uh, the video French. and watch it while Great I play. Language. If you're a chain smoking acrobat. I'm just trying to fit in better with Andy's family. They all speak more than one language. Usually when I'm there. You want to learn a really impressive second language? Try Dothraki. Win over any man in my guild. Dothraki However, if I don't stop this now, we'll be watching The Office for the entire duration of this video. And as much as I'd like to just sit here and watch shows with you guys all day long, we do have more material to cover. So this next example is a little advanced and it uses DX Nothing. If you don't know what DX Nothing is, then I would suggest checking out the wiki, the forum, or maybe if you're lucky, there might be some links in the description of this video. Now I need to set the stage for what is going on here. First, I've added DX Nothing to my character set and I've given it an appropriate window layout to accommodate the extra window, which you can see on the left. Then I've also gone ahead and created a VFX action that I've assigned to my DX Nothing window, which will be looking for a source named YouTube. As you can see on the right, the source doesn't exist yet and I'll need to create it using the same steps that we just went over a moment ago. But this time, instead of using my media player, I'm going to be using Internet Explorer. Now, if we take a look at the current layout of YouTube, the video player is surrounded by a bunch of white space and other information that I don't necessarily want to see, and we can fix that. So I've got the control panel all set up and ready to go, but before I hit add, I'm going to talk about these values in between the two dropdown menus here that I previously ignored. The width and the height values designate how much of the screen of the program or process that I've chosen I'd like to view. And the X and Y coordinates set the starting point for the source. To get a better visual on this, I've created a 1280 by 720 window. And it's being placed at an X coordinate of 225 and a Y coordinate of 65. So using those exact values from the Icebox or Control Panel, this is where my source is actually going to be placed on Internet Explorer and everything outside of the highlighted area is going to be ignored. Now, when I add this source and then press the hotkey for my VFX viewer, it adds the YouTube video from my browser right into my DX Nothing window, just like magic. And it will also dynamically resize itself if I switch over to it. I've muted the audio, but if I press play, I can then watch the video while I play the game. Now, maybe the size of this window isn't exactly ideal for 
watching videos, but I use this as an example because some people like to slap their face on their game windows when they're streaming. I'm guilty of this. In the past, rather than put the webcam right on top of their game, people have used this method right here to put themselves into their own window layout while they were streaming. And that is pure genius. Now, if you don't care to figure out the exact coordinates of the screen that you'd like to crop out, then you can do this on the fly. First, you need to create a source and a viewer like I did originally. And then with the Icebox or Control Panel open, hold down Shift, Control, and Alt, and then click, hold, and drag your mouse cursor across the area that you'd like to get a better view of. That is absolute sorcery, I tell you. Now at the moment, there's no visual indicator that shows you the area that you're actually covering when you drag. But if you've ever dragged your mouse across your desktop to highlight numerous files at the same time, then it's similar to that. However, this only works when you drag your mouse from the upper left to the lower right. Dragging from any other direction tends to bug things out. I know it's kind of a weird limitation, but it's just the way that it is for the time being. Now, there are a few minor things to note. First, if you're going to be cropping out a certain section of a process and want everything to be exact, then it's probably going to take you some trial and error when setting it up. There's no easy way to tell what the exact on-screen coordinates are, and you'll just have to keep adding and deleting the source until you get it just right. Second, if the source program you're trying to view is minimized, then it's unlikely that this is going to work. This is due to the nature of how the operating system works, and when programs are minimized to the taskbar, all 3D rendering comes to a halt. And third, not every single program may be compatible with this feature. Theoretically, every program should work with an other Windows source, but if you find something that doesn't, then feel free to bother Lax to see if he can add compatibility. And that covers other Windows sources with video effects. If you're running into any issues, then I would suggest checking out either the video effects basics video or the entry on the Iceboxy wiki for any relevant troubleshooting information. And for any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the Iceboxer forum or the live chat.